This episode of Snake Bites brought to you by Critters Crumble. Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. We're going to show you some snakes. You're watching Snake Bites. Every day I get tons of requests for animals, and we've done animal request shows before, but we think we're gonna revisit it every couple months just to go ahead and show you guys what we have going on and go ahead and answer your request for specific animals. So if you ever wanna see something in the show, make sure to comment down below or hit me up at Twitter at SnakeBitesTV. I'm gonna start out with the Super Lori Ball. Now this is an awesome project that we've been developing for quite some time. Why is it called a Super Lori Ball? Well, let me tell you, we actually were importing baby captive hatch baby ball pythons out of West Africa and Lori picked out a couple kind of unusual looking animals and we tagged them Lori balls and to be honest with you we kind of made fun of her about it and over time she proved us wrong because they produce some awesome looking snakes. I've said it before, I'm not a huge hybrid guy, but I tell you what, these super balls, which are blood python, ball python hybrids, are truly wicked animals. They have kind of the best of both worlds. They kind of remind you a little bit of a ball python, but they certainly have the size of a blood python. Unfortunately, this particular animal has the attitude of some blood pythons too. So it's a few weeks into the new year now, and I made a resolution to get really good grades this semester, because it's my last semester of college and I want to do really well. I want to know what you guys' resolutions are and if you've stuck to them. It's only been a few weeks. Have you already given up? Leave a comment below and let us know. I'm a huge Brooks King fan, and this mutation is just something that's really cool. There's been an albino Brooks or a lavender Brooks for a several years on the market, but they didn't really look like true albinos. And for whatever reason, when you breed those animals to jellies, you get what I consider a true albino Brooks. Again, this is just a lavender albino bred to a jelly Brooks, and man, that thing is kick ass. Okay, so no one asked me to show Calabar burring pythons, but they happen to be one of my favorite snakes, so I'm going to show them to you anyways. People always ask to see different mutations of corn snakes, and we have a whole lot to show you guys, but one of my favorites happens to be this aneurysmic sun-kiss okatee corn snake. I know it's a mouthful to say, but I don't know what it is. For some reason, this mutation is just really beautiful. I love the pattern, and I really love all that yellow color that comes out of these animals. Lavender albino ball pythons are certainly not the cutting edge project they used to be, but it's amazing how many people request lavender albino ball pythons. So here's one of my beautiful girls. I hope she's gonna produce some really cool offspring this year. We have several projects that could be really cool, but again, a lavender albino is just awesome in its own right. I'm always surprised at how many people want to see sand boas. Don't get me wrong, I think that they're an awesome snake, but I'm a little surprised at their popularity. But they are, again, a really cool animal. So I always show you guys Kenyan sand boas. I thought I'd change it up a little bit and show you these javelin sand boas. Now they're really similar to Kenyans. They don't get quite as big, and they typically only have about 10 to 12 babies, whereas Kenyans can have 30 plus live young. One last animal as a parting shot. This is actually a sunset Indian sand boas. And unlike the normal Indian sand boas, they typically retain most of their color into adulthood. Hey, we're gonna try to revisit this every couple months and show you guys the animals that you request. So make sure to comment down below or hit me up on Twitter at SnakeBitesTV.
All right, I'm at the New York White Plains Show. The interesting thing is there's a lot of really awesome animals, but there's actually rumors of an imposter Brian Barczyk. We want to get down to the bottom of this. I'm Brian Barczyk, and we're here at the New York Metro Reptile Expo. It's going to be a great day. You're watching Snake Bites. See, we use a stunt double on the show so that I don't Let get bit. Let me like this. Take the wig off. There's no wig. This is all natural. I put berries and juices in this every day to keep it fresh. I'm Brian Barczyk. I do it right. What's your corn snake name in a bit? I don't know. I think you should call your corn snake Brian Barczyk. <laughs> have you ever seen Bigfoot? No. I have. Excellent. You get a Bigfoot discount. <laughs> Brian Barczyk loves Bigfoot and Brian Barczyk loves people who love Bigfoot too. Brian Bar do you watch Snake Bites TV? Yes. I'm the star of Snake Bites TV. Did you know that? Yes. Are you excited to meet me? <laughs> I'm excited to meet me, so of course you should be excited to meet me too. Check out the ball python. Just a ball python. Isn't it cool? Yeah. Now, that's a very expensive ball python, so don't drop it or Brian Barczyk will have to jump the table. Yes. Okay. <laughs> do you like ball pythons? Yes. We have one. Yeah, we have one. Very cool. How many do you have? One. Well, ball pythons are really interesting snakes, but you should let your mom know that she needs to buy you more. More ball pythons are better. We have six snakes already. Well, ten snakes are statistically known to make little boys grow faster. So make sure you get yourself ten snakes and don't let up. Hit your birthday every chance you get. Tell your mom, I want a Brian Barczyk snake. Okay, now give me my snake back. What? Man, I gotta figure out what the hell's going on at my booth. Did you see this? Josh! What the hell's going on, man? What's up? Who's this freaking guy? I thought it was you. Me, I'm freaking right here. Who's this guy in my booth selling snakes? In the next five minutes, you have to buy them because I'm I Brian Barchek. I so we're going crazy? $50. Take them right now. You know what? Take the whole case. It's okay. It's all yours. Who, who the hell are you? Oh, I'm Brian Barchek. Wait. Uh, wait, I'm Brian. I'm Brian. Wait, hold on. Hold on. But wait, I am Brian Barchek. I, I like Bigfoot and, and Ball. And, and, and everything, it's, it's, it is really me, it's, it's Brian. Ah. So it's the fourth and last week of the Critters Crumble Small Animal and Reptile Bedding Giveaway. That's right, you can still win three months supply of bedding. Last week it was a random drawing and this is who won. So make sure you check your inbox. This week it's gonna be about the coolest promoter of this contest. That means that you have to like the Critters Crumble and Snake Bites fan page and blow up your friends' Facebook pages or Twitter accounts of how cool this is. And we're gonna pick the person that promotes it the best. We appreciate you guys entering. For this week's comment of the week, the question was, what do you want for Christmas? And Opto Octo said, My perfect Christmas gift would be for reptiles to become legal up here in Norway. I know plenty of people who want them, some who happen to be on the other side of the law. That would be perfect. Anywho, God Yul Ale Samen. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah, being an animal lover, I can't believe there's a law in Norway like that. It's just completely stupid, and I hope it does get changed. Hey, we're right in the middle of the breeding season with all the ball pythons, so I want you guys to check out a really cool website that has a lot of pictures. It's ballpythons.net. It's a really cool place. Until next time, you've been watching Snake Bites. These things are like big turds, aren't they? I don't know why I like them. I just like them, man. I just think they're cool. You just like big turds? I just obviously like big turds. I love turds.